So Blake and Adam here at the Sim2 booth checking out the latest in short throw technology from Sim2. How you doing, Adam? I'm doing Good to great. See you, buddy. Great to see you, Blake. This Pleasure. looks amazing. Thank you so much. We're very, very excited to have this on display here at the show today. Well, you know, I had it on display at my house here for a while. And guys, what we're looking at is a short throw projector from Sim2 that is laser technology based. That's correct. Nice and bright. That's correct. Roughly 3,000 lumens. Awesome, man, and okay. it's showing. And what we're seeing here, though, is a combination of two awesome technologies. We've got the SIM2 laser short throw projector, and notice we're inches away, literally, from the screen wall. And then we're using our ST screen material. So with your brightness and our contrast enhancement, we've got an image that is rivaling any flat panel TV out there. Absolutely, that's exactly right. And when you put this combination together with this size image, we're actually far less expensive than this comparable size flat panel right. TV. That's so right. it's uh, it's a very exciting combination. In fact, we're looking at 106 inch right now. Now at my house, I had it on my 120. So feel free to go big. And that's another advantage we have in the two-piece projection market is working with SIM2 and the screen innovation screen, we can build these in one inch increments, or in your case, one centimeter increments, right? That's, that's right. <laughs> that's right. So, and that's a huge benefit. So when you're looking at specking this for your home, we're gonna take up the exact amount of wall space that you're looking for. We can build this into a beautiful cabinet, which you've done. That's correct. Uh, the unit does come with, with two flavors, so to speak. We have a standalone option, which is uh, designed to be set on top a piece of furniture, or we have the INV option, which is designed to be put into a piece of furniture. And it's a great wedge shape. So again, this is CDM. Right, you know, selling a flat panel off the end cap at you know the big box place, that's that's retail, but this is Cedia, this is custom. So I encourage you guys, the dealers out there, to take a look because it's in my belief this short throw revolution is kicking into gear. I mean, I think that probably within the next four years, 25% of projector sales are going to be short throw. Well, we're Definitely hoping so, that'd be very exciting. And yes, the segment is growing pretty rapidly, absolutely. And, and more than that, I think we're actually gonna start eating into the TV sales finally. I think, well, now we have a viable option. That's true. Right? So now we have something that's very viable that now we can go bigger mm -hmm. and we can give you the same performance. And Some better. Cases better. Much exactly. better. Yes. Here's what I want to point out, and Dave will do a, a, a pan of the room here in a second. We'll roll that into the shot, but we are looking at literally hundreds of light fixtures out in the show floor here. That's right. If this was a piece of glass, aka flat panel TV, That's what right. would we be seeing right now? Oh, you see you see a glare that Lots would probably be quite bothersome to uh, to watch, absolutely. Right. So this yeah. is the golden age of two-piece projection, guys. You want to be looking at short throw. Again, don't think of darkroom dedicated theaters as the only place you can do two-piece projection. We are out in the brightest area. In fact, if your living room is as bright as this room, you might think about moving. But if, you are, if your room is as bright as this, the SIM2, the ST from Screen Innovations, awesome combination. Dude. It sure is. Thank beautiful. you so much. We beautiful. appreciate it. Thanks well, check us out on the web together at SIM2 and Screen Innovations. All right. One, one take. One take. One take. <laughs> one take Blake. <laughs> oh, he didn't hit the button again. <laughs> forgot, to hit, forgot to hit record. Dang it.